Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Please be safe in your home. Don't walk out of your home unnecessarily. Whenever you go out somewhere purposefully, you just sanitize well before entering into your home and when you buy something also, sanitize it. Keep it aside for some time and then uh, you use that uh, thing. So be, please be safe. Uh, around us so many are uh, getting infected and so many are suffering a lot. So be safe. It's not just for your safety. It is for your parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, everyone. Okay. If you are safe and if you are not transmitting the uh, disease uh, to someone else, uh, it will be good right let's uh, get into our portion today we are going to see in your computer application this session is our fundamentals in computer okay your first chapter is fundamentals of computing only in this first chapter today we'll just see an introduction okay in this first chapter you'll be seeing the generations of computer how this computer came anyone know see at the stretch we can't uh, invent a computer right so first it was a it was a it was like a calculator only after that step by step only they have uh, launched the computer right so the first computer was in a, a big size of a, a room and it was uh, heating up so much it was consuming so much power and they had so many disadvantages and after that days by days after uh, uh, i think it's um, more than 16 years they were using that vacuum tubes computing computing system only and then only they have advanced and they have brought the system as you see today as like a laptop or like a computer right so these all the, the generations of computer and the invention about who's the father of computer i think you all know it's charles babbage he's the one who invented computer and he's the he's called as the father of computer okay so after he invented it took so many years to bring up the computer which we are using today in this first chapter we'll be seeing for what purpose this computer is invented how this computer was invented and and why this computer is invented what is the use this and all you will be seeing as i said to you yesterday we'll be seeing the basic components of computer everything in detail in this first chapter okay now if you see you will be having mobile laptop or computer in your home right so likewise um if some some of the students would be uh, using laptop and computer in your home so you will be uh, feeling that it is easy to use computer right some students won't be having laptop or computer or mobile in your hand so you will be feeling little difficult right so we'll clear all the difficulties and we'll make uh, i will make you uh, to use a com use computer in an easy way this is your table of contents of this year that is in grade 11 you are going to learn these uh, fundamentals of a computer and working with a typical operating system and then you will be learning about uh, office automation tools uh, word processor a spreadsheet and presentation and then you will be learning about web page development using html and css and uh, javascript okay and then at last the last two chapters will be like computer ethics and cyber security and uh, tamil computing okay so in this grade 11 you will be learning all the basic things which you need to use a computer and um, to have the basic knowledge of computer uh, you will be uh, covering everything when you are completing this grade 11 if you are learning only you will be able to do it in the lab or in any systems okay as i said to you before introduction to computers i have uh, given you a short introduction and the second chapter will be number systems okay in this first chapter uh, some of the portions has been uh, reduced for the last year and i am not sure about your syllabus you didn't receive your syllabus yet but still i'll give you some a small introduction on the main topics alone okay first lesson uh, i have given the introduction about the components of computer and uh, this generation of computer and the input output devices arithmetic logic unit and the uh, 
um, external devices which can be connected and all we have seen yesterday itself the a reader a barcode reader a camera touch screen key a light pen these are all the input output units okay and in the second chapter you will be learning about number system okay computer cannot understand our language right uh, we will speak english tamil malayalam and so on computer cannot understand the language which we speak so it has a specific language which it can understand that is machine language okay so the machine language only it can understand and whatever instructions we give it will be converted into its language and then it will process and again after processing it will again convert it to our language and it will give out to us right so the machine language will be of zeros and ones that is true means it is one false means we will say it as zero okay so if you are learning this number system it will be useful for um, calculating this uh, codings and all when you are writing the codings and all small calculations or if you want to represent something in a binary system means it will be easy if you are learning this conversion in the second chapter here we have binary number a decimal number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system okay decimal number system is as the the same numbers which we use in our mathematics 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that everything that will come, that is decimal number system okay binary number system means by by means two only two numbers will be there so the base is two and the number which is included in this binary number system are zero and one okay and the other one is octal octal is the base value is 8 and octal number will have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay only till 7 so the base value is 8 only 8 values are there right from 0 if you calculate 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it is the total number of uh, terms is 8 right so the octal uh, base value is 8 and uh, the octal numbers are 0 to 7 okay and after 7 uh, what number will come we don't have 8 and 9 right so again 10 11 like that it will start okay and then next one is hexadecimal hexadecimal means the uh, base value is 16 okay 16 means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. and here instead of 10 11 12 and all we'll write a b c d e f okay so here we have 16 digits 16 is the base value of hexadecimal and the um, hexadecimal values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 a b c d e f okay so here we'll be learning the number system conversions also here we saw what is decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system right so in this chapter we'll be converting a decimal number to binary number a decimal number to octal number octal to binary octal to decimal octal to hexadecimal hexadecimal to octal so we'll see all the conversions of this number system in this chapter okay so here uh, they have given a small introduction first in the number system about number system and then a small introduction will be there about decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system and then we'll start the conversion of this number systems okay after the conversions we'll be learning the ones complement what is ones complement twos complement and then we'll be studying about some representing uh, characters in memory in the memory we have bcd that is binary coded decimal ascii code ascii means um, it's like uh, it will have 2 power 7 bit that means it will have 128 characteristics okay ascii code if you see it will have a uh, letter means uh, that letter will be represented with some other character that is ascii code the expansion of ascii is american standard code for information interchange okay then iscii unicode this all you will be learning in this second chapter okay and the third chapter uh, is about computer organization okay in this computer organization you will be learning the things which are inside the processing units okay here we'll see 
about microprocessor an important question is there last year that portion was reduced i don't know whether you will have that portion or uh, whether uh, that portion will be included or reduced i'm not sure here in third chapter you will be learning about characteristics of microprocessor that is a very important question okay microprocessor will have an input and output microprocessor will be linked with the memory unit and also this uh, processing microprocessor is made up of three main units that is one is arithmetic and logic unit that is alu control unit and internal registers okay that is the internal memory registers and then the characteristics of microprocessor means there will have clock speed instruction set and word size so these all the things you will be learning in computer organization chapter okay here will you will be learning about the memory devices you will learn briefly about a rom a ram and all the types of rom that is also the types of ram is a very important question uh, ram we know that it has dynamic ram and static ram rom means it has a programmable read only memory erasable programmable read only memory electrically erasable read only programmable read only memory so these all the things you will be learning in the third chapter okay from fourth chapter you will be seeing about operating system okay any computer cannot work without operating system if you are having a mobile if you are having an uh, android a normal smartphone means android operating system will be there if you are having an apple iphone means uh, it will be having ios or if you are having a computer means sometimes it may have uh, windows operating system or a linux operating system uh, likewise any one operating system will be there for the uh, processing of the computer okay here you'll be learning about the software i said uh, you the uh, detailed explanation for software and hardware in the last session itself right hope you remember that in this chapter you'll be learning about this software in software we'll have application software and system software and then we'll be seeing the types of uh, operating system and how this operating system will work what is the use of this operating system and all everything you'll be seeing in this fourth chapter okay and in the fifth chapter only you will be starting to work with the operating system okay in that chapter uh, we will you will be learning how to use the computer or how this operating system works and how you have to start with the computer okay there you will have the procedure how to use the mouse and how to start the windows desktop if you are having a laptop or a computer in your home you would have used it often and you would have known to use it but uh, if you are new to it in when you are learning the swift chapter learn thoroughly and you will be thorough with the operations of all uh, all the operations of the computer okay so in this fifth chapter we will be learning about what is icon folder uh, desktop the um, uh, menus menu bar toolbar uh, work areas scroll everything we will be learning in this fifth chapter okay fifth chapter when we are uh, completing itself you will be uh, able to use uh, computer like a pro okay so here you will be able to learn how to open a file how to save a file inside a folder or how to save a document how to open a document how to rename a document everything you will be seeing in this fifth chapter okay thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye